Hello my friends, today I will show you one of my favorite video games, a game that doesn't have any propaganda, doesn't have uh, LGBTQ propaganda or feminist propaganda or satanic stuff, it's just a great game based in the Cold War 80s atmosphere and we get to play with uh, infantry divisions from America, from Russia, from Germany, from France, it's all, it's all there and we are killing pixels, I'm of course against the war in real life but as a man it's a uh, you can't help but be fascinated by the technology of war and uh, military operations and in here we have very good simulation of military operations and tactics and so i will do a video in case you decide to play this game or if you're already playing this game but don't you but you don't know how to play it well or you're not having any, uh, much success I will show you how to beat the medium AI in skirmish single player with the 35th Russian military brigade. It is a very specialized brigade because it's an air assault brigade. So this video will have two sections. One where I show you how to build a military brigade from scratch and one where we will play the actual video game on the map with our tactics. So let's go ahead and go to the armory where we will select battle groups. We will click on create, we will go to the 35th Desanto Sturmovaya Brigade, which I translated it because I don't know Russian, and it means Air Assault Brigade. So we will select this one. We will have to understand that from a tactics perspective, an Air Assault Brigade is an, a brigade that relies on speed, uh, capturing territories quickly, and then uh, holding them with uh, anti-tank since we don't have any tanks because we come from the sky or we don't have any tanks and we have uh, we have anti-tanks though in our infantry in our in our armored vehicles in our we will use our anti-air we'll, we will use our helicopters with anti-tanks we'll use uh, the air force so let's go ahead and plan our strategy now of course in Military terms, strategy refers to the bigger plan, you know, stuff like logistics and uh, the, the goal, the, the grand goal of the grand campaign. We won't do that. If the game does have a campaign, maybe I'll get into it at one point, but now we're just uh, going directly to the military operation and tactics part, which is the other side of war. The military operation is something like getting a town, for example, so you have to synchronize a bunch of divisions together in order to uh, take territory and encircle with combined forces. The tactics part is uh, what you do on the ground, what technology you have, what infantry you have, what how you combine, how you use it together on the field to to get a more direct uh, objective achieved. So if you see a house in front of you and you send a, an infantry fighting vehicle and you shoot some uh, an auto cannon at the building and uh, then you come from the other side with uh, with an infantry spetsnaz squad and you get that building and that way that's part of the tactics yeah, whatever it's it's irrelevant because we're, like, we're just playing a video game i'm just saying so we understand the difference, the difference between strategy and tactics but in the video game world you can use strategy like real-time strategy so just it can apply to just the tactics it, it's kind of interchangeable but i like to keep it realistic so i will call what you regu regularly call strategy in the video game world, well, I call tactics. So let's start. We need to supply our infantry with mi with munitions and with uh, manpower. So we will use these big helicopters, Mi-26 Gruzo Boy. Uh, we can get two of them. I would like to get three, but this is the limit for this brigade. And then we will get Mi-8MT, just four of them in the later part of the game. The enemy has a lot of anti-air, so they will possibly get destroyed if we bring supplies by the means of air. So, in the later part of the game, we will just use regular trucks. These trucks are great, you can put them in between buildings and uh, they won't get hit. They, they will be nicely hidden. So we'll get two stacks and then that's it. We use 10 points just for logistics alone. And now infantry time, uh, we have a special uh, infantry here called the Metis, uh, which has an anti-tank missile 
that can uh, go up to a kilometer and they are very useful in case uh, a tank wants to enter a city these guys can stay uh, somewhere in a building and the, the, that tank will get ambushed and hit with metis hit uh, missiles so we will use these desantiki metis a lot of them we will use 14 of them then i will also use for the beginning part of the game it's very important to be able to rush to our capture points as the 13th air assault brigade and for that we will use rpg 7 squad which uh, comes with helicopter so very quickly it's able to capture points along with their commander they will go together and capture the points quickly and then we will hold these points until the end so i'm going to use seven of these guys for the beginning of the game and a commander two of them to be able to capture the points and also boost the capabilities of the troops i believe coordinate them better then we will get some spetsnats which have a strength of 12 so they are able to hold ground really well uh, we will get two spetsnats uh, stacks then we have the choice of our getting a faggot missile it's what it's called as you can see here faggot so we got the descent faggot but we can also use the descent concourse which is actually a, a better missile you know i mean faggots are always uh, weaker in uh, any case so we will get the concourse which has better range and uh, penetration so uh we'll get these uh concourse guys we can actually bring them in a transport that also has an anti-tank missile installed on it so why not why not concourse and th their transport also has a concourse so dub double the anti-tank but also the price will be double as well <laughs> well not quite double but uh, no it's gonna be completely worth it so six of these guys then we will get we need some guys in armored transport so we'll get the bmd guys uh the bmd squad they also have the sniper rifle they have uh, the anti-tank rocket launchers assault rifle and light support weapon we will get them in a transport that also has a tank gun for extra support so there we go and after this we can think of our capturing power which we will do with a BMD, well, not a BMD commander, but the Santniki commander, which this one has, is equipped with IGLA infrared detection, uh, surface to air missiles, so we can uh, kill helicopters and damage planes. A very good unit, and I think that's the infantry. Maybe bring another BMD squad, or uh, some Afghans, just for fun, or some cheap Saperi. We can bring Saper units with the strength of five we can just uh, spam these guys and they're very good at killing other infantry with demolition charges very kind of an engineer squad i don't know maybe some extra bmds let's bring an extra bmd squad and then we have spent another 10 points on the infantry then we will move to the artillery uh, we will need smoke to be able to push with our infantry without being seen and we will also need to mortar the trees and the houses where our enemy will hide so we will get one of these 120 millimeter at shells then we will get an artillery piece the howitzer 122 millimeter 36 shells and a tank gun which will probably not be used because we will sit at the back and counter battery whatever the enemy will when the enemy artillerizes us we have the option to use counter battery and fire their exact position from which their fire appears and if uh, we don't do that then we can just use the artillery to attack the tree lines or the buildings where we think the enemy might be we will also get the bm21 v grad v uh, which is really cool it shoots 12 missiles in a sequence very quickly one after each other they will fire they have reduced accuracy but they're 
they will deal some guaranteed damage and chaos. So that's it for our artillery against the AI. We are now at the tank section where we don't have any tanks because we are an air assault brigade. We will however have the ability to kill a lot of tanks. So by using cars with anti-tank missiles installed on them. I, I'm telling you, I have killed uh, many tanks. One of these cars, if you, if you place them correctly, it's able to defeat maybe four tanks sometimes. It's a very good cost to quality because those one tank values much more than a car with an anti-tank missile on top of it. So we will use two of these. We will also use the enhanced version, which has a bunch of anti-tank missiles concours mounted on top of a uh, armored vehicle, the BRDM-2, which is really good. We will get two stacks of these, and we will move on to the reconnaissance tab, where obviously we have to be able to see where our enemy is. So the Razvedka will be very good at that, and especially these ones with the helicopter for the beginning of the game. We'll get one of these and one normal Razvedka uh, with just four guys. We can also get snipers, but I won't because I don't want to. I, I just think we're good with the two Razvedkas and we'll get instead some BRDMs just for some extra firepower in the beginning of the game. Infantry fighting vehicle with uh, two machine guns, one heavy machine gun and a medium machine gun. A very, very solid infantry fighting vehicle that causes fear and chaos amongst the infantry, amongst the regular infantry. We have now reached the anti-aircraft section where we have some options, some uh, Soviet options, of course. Uh, we got the Igla squad, which will come in a Mi-8T tank. The Igla being two people with a surface-to-air missile with infrared detection capabilities, six missiles. It's good to bring them in the beginning of the game. You might uh, get some early helicopter kills. They're uh, generally good. They inflict damage on planes. Uh, they're they're just great. If you take if you have like two of them in a building, they will do some damage. If you have a strella on top of that, you will kill a plane, possibly. We'll also get the regular eagles in a car for the later part of the game. It's, it's just good to have them because some they get destroyed and they need to be replaced. Then we will bring the BRDM two. Strella, eight of these should be fine, and that is our anti-air section. The Strella is equipped equipped with the Strella surface-to-air missiles, infrared detection, infrared missile guidance, a similar missile to the Igla, except it's carried by an armored vehicle. We will use these two types of anti-air systems to be able to create a. Si uh, a network of anti-air across the map. Next we'll go to the helicopter section. And here we have a variety of Soviet helicopters with different capabilities. Uh, we have the cheapest one, the Mi-8MT, the Mi, the Mi-24, and the Ka-50 helicopter. These come equipped for anti-air purpose or for anti-tank purpose. I really like the KA-50 helicopter, it's uh, very badass looking, it's kind of like the American Apache. It has two of these, if one in real life, if one gets disabled the other one still works so the helicopters can keep on flying. We will use two anti-tank versions of the KA-50s, we will use one anti-air. And we will also use Mi-24 anti-air. I will also want to have a BRDM vehicle to be able to... No, a BMD to be able to capture territory with it. And then for the air, we don't have much points left, unfortunately. But this laser-guided bomb plane is really good. We can get two of these. And then... 
I would also like to have a cluster bomb, a MiG-27, then maybe less helicopters, be able to have more air, so like, I'd like to have anti-air with either the MiG-21, uh, 29, or the MiG-23. I would like to have the MiG-29 because it has a better air-to-air -air missile, as we can see, longer range, better suppression, and better high explosive capability but we need to sacrifice we need to sacrifice another helicopter and so we can have this MiG-29 jet fighter so now we used all our points we have everything we need our new battle group based on the 35th Desanto Stormovaya Brigade Assault Air Brigade. We will call this 35th Air Assault Hard Bus. There we go. So there we go. The 35th Air Assault Hard Bus Brigade. Right, we will save it. And uh, that's how you create your battle group. So now we'll go to the second part of the video where we will actually we'll actually do a battle. I will now select the 35th Air Assault Hard Bus Battle Group. We will now pick a map. I really like the Black Forest Duel. We have a interesting uh, forest area here with higher elevation. We have interesting center points to keep. And we have uh, a capture point here that's also gonna be interesting to keep. Uh, I'm saying this because in uh, some maps I've noticed that the action is mostly in the center. But here action is all over the place except maybe for the capture point that, that is close to your spawn area because the action takes place more in the front than in the back with the AI in the case of playing with the real player you could get surprise attacks through and flanked but against the medium AI we don't see anything like that we will also select the difficulty of the AI which will be medium AI so Let's go to the second phase of the video, which is actually playing the battle. Alright, here we have the map. We have a bunch of capture points. It may seem random at first look, but it's not. This is the closer capture point to your spawn zone. So you won't have to battle over this, because nobody will attack it. The most, most of the action will happen at this capture point, at this capture point, and at this capture point. So, if we're able to hold these three capture points in this one, we're going to win. So, as the 35th Aerosol Brigade, we'll use our advantages to swiftly get these points under control with our special abilities such as assault units in helicopters and forward deployment on other units that get us closer to the target before our enemy so let's go ahead and use these abilities let's get the helicopters in position one helicopter here one helicopter here one helicopter here this is rpg7 unit we'll go with this building it's able to fire an uh, anti-tank missile but only at 500 meters so it's not that useful but so we'll just put in this building. This guy will go into this tree line. Because it will be able to fire. We won't put it in this building because it can't fire at 2500 meters where the tank will be. It will only be able to fire within the 500 meter ring. So that's here. That's where we will put it. This RPG-17 will go in this house it's able to fire to the right there at the street if it's up we'll put our commanders this commander will go into this building where it's nice and safe and if you play multiplayer you'll want to put your commanders later into the game when you are sure that you can capture something but it's not so necessary in this game. 
if you know where you put your commanders, they will survive and the points will remain captured. And to capture this area, we will use a BMD infantry vehicle, fighting vehicle, and we will get it to capture this point, and once it capture that point, we can send it to that point. And we get some anti-air, the Iglas are very good, in helicopters we can reach the plates swiftly, we'll put them in this house, and also another Igla, which will drop in the same house. Also, it's time to bring some other stuff, such as the Metis squad. The Metis squad is really good because they have a really nice anti-tank missile. Choose targets at, uh, one, at 1250 meters, which is twice as much as the regular RPG. This will go into we'll go here, and then to this building we will be able to fire that way, I guess. Or we can also get some concours. Just some uh, concours anti-tank, which can fire at 2000 meters put in that tree line well, however they are not armored that's the only part that's not so good so we'll opt for a safer place let's say some metis guys we will get some metis guys and we'll put them we have a lot of metis guys so we can put them. We can get a BMD. This can uh, go to the area very quickly. And we will put them in this building. And we got the BRDM2. An infantry fighting vehicle, which we can put. just here where it could help in case this building gets conquered by an infantry unit and they need some some 30 millimeter auto cannon support let's uh go ahead and get one on the other side we'll put it here i guess we need anti-air so for our anti-air we will use the helicopter again with the eagle team and put it in the same building for now again igla team and this time we'll put it in these trees man team yeah gets there faster and these guys can fire this way and how about give them another RPG-7 troop just to give them some cover? Then in this building. And another RPG-7. Which will go in this building. And we have extra 70 points to spend. Command points, and perhaps we'll get another RPG-7 squad, it costs exactly that amount of points, and we will put them in this building. So now, let's launch battle, see if we can hold these points. And we have launched the battle, let's look at these glorious soviet helicopters look at them look at them look at them fly it's beautiful yes yes we have we have red star we have the red star on uh, our mit8 
transport helicopter. The sun is out. What a glorious day to have our rotaries blowing in the wind. Keeping us afloat from the ground, away from the vodka, into air, closer to God. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's happening. <coughs> let's see what's happening on uh, on this part of the battlefield where we might meet someone. Might meet someone. So, okay, successfully, successfully dropping a man into the trees. Beautiful, 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 this is beautiful. Okay, everyone has been dropped into the building. I already see a vehicle there. I'm taking their positions and no one getting hurt. Excellent! Exactly what we wanted. So now, get in some BRDM to concourse. Let's get in some logistics. Uh, Gruzo boy. Supply vehicle. And then let's get another Gruzo boy. This side we will have our amazing artillery. It's there in the cover. Oh, the Eaglas are firing at the UH-60 command, but did manage to kill it, unfortunately. Opa! Why is this not unloaded? No space or what's the deal? Okay, this is uh, slightly battered now, but that's okay. We will bring supply in this area. A big supply. We'll also bring a car with an anti-tank missile on top of it. Concourse. He was there to fire an RPG. That's good. Oh, we need the helicopters over here, we need the anti-tank helicopter, and we need an anti-air helicopter, and this guy needs to, oh my god, he, he just died, well, it's okay, at least he got a few hits, uh, oh, if I get 300 shekels, I'll be able to get this MiG-27K, and then we laser guide bomb a tank. That would be ideal if we're able to do that. Let's get some back some uh, some RPG seven and uh, Metis since we are having some resistance here. Um, also, let's get the command command infantry fighting vehicle with medium machine gun. Maybe it can help a little bit. I put it here. Well, he doesn't get hit by a tank. Oh my god, you have to land immediately. Not on the street. Okay, not on the street. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Now, this guy can supply everyone. Yep. Getting resupplied. We need some spits nuts. Get some spits nuts in here. With another Metis squad. Then a BMD. Let's buy the laser guide bomb airplane just in case. And we will start getting some artillery. Well, not. Yeah, there was. Just regular mortar, really. Nice. 
and cover into this beautiful farm greenhouse greenhouse is so amazing this thing got a little bit hit maybe i can bring a truck and repair repair it with the truck it's getting it seems like it's not repairing it's not being it's not able to repair from its own supply so we need to bring supply from a different source and also let's protect it with the brdm2 with anti-tank concourse missiles on it and uh, we can bring more artillery right here with a supply Little boy helicopter and this helicopter go down like in the movies blitz okay well the the i mean houses don't have very good destructibility but that's hard to program in a game like this uh, they do crash eventually but it's based on a point system they need to take a certain amount of damage before they start looking like they are destroyed so we got the rpg7 in here there's a tank approaching we're going to send a wire targeted system on course anti-tank which will reload takes a little bit to reload then it fires again and now it missed it's okay though. We got a A50 Aquila, which will do its thing. Watch this. That's a that's an attack helicopter kill right there. Beautiful. I think these guys got artillery or something, uh, and that's okay. We will art. We'll have our own artillery and we will artillerize them back. How about that? So far, so good. We still haven't captured that point, but we did capture three points. And uh, it's enough for victory. Hmm, very interesting. I thought I needed that point to achieve my victory. Uh, whoa. He fired, exposing himself. So I got him a little bit with the tank there but i will send my rpg7 in there my anti-tank is firing oh three three missiles and still didn't die the abrams is strong i did i do think my missiles hit a little bit of that cover again oh man that's overkill that is overkill my friends overkill using the supply like nothing um so maneuver a little bit we got the spetsnaz we got the metis and now they have a little bit of cover so i can send maybe two bmds here perhaps i don't know i don't have eyes though i'm a bit blind i'm not sending recon it's time to send some recon since we have it uh, we should use it i guess Send the uh, Razvetka unit in this tree line. Hopefully it won't get killed. Let's check what we find here. Maybe it has anti-air. I don't care. Actually, I do care because I don't have other helicopters. These are my only helicopters. An anti-air helicopter. It's an attack helicopter. Look at that. Look at that Bradley being pounded. And the Bradley is gone. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, let's get this guy. This tree line. I think it's safe. And uh, let's get this guy and capture. Capture. Point. Capture the point. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, this guy is going to need to get back immediately. Pronto, pronto. As they say in Italiano. 
need to repair this guy now. And uh, you know, the parts of the front line, I didn't look at all. Which is what, uh, not what you're supposed to do. You are supposed to be careful. Uh, and I'm not. Because I didn't bring even supply trucks in this area. What are you doing? You're running away. Great stuff. Um, do you have an anti-tank missile? Yes, you do. I'll go and use it. How about you use it? And here we go. Boom. Beautiful. It's going to feel so good. So let's cycle. Recycle the... We're not doing the Ukraine tactics here, okay? We're not going to let this guy get super tired. We're going to cycle our stuff. So th this guy has to go. And this, this new RPG-7 will get in. So we care about our guys. You know what I'm saying? So let's bring a BMD also here. And these guys will rest a bit and replenish. Uh, get their uh, ability to fight an order and some reinforcements. The supply helicopter has been repaired. It's all good. Nice. They're looking, they're looking nice there. It will look even nicer if I get a anti-air strela system in there. Um, yeah, they're trying to bring infantry in this in these houses here, but we have currently some encircling going in there. And so everything is fine. I wonder if this PRDM who is able to fight. Not quite. Not quite. It's okay though. We will survive. So I get some supply trucks in there. Commander is doing fine. How is our anti-air capability? I don't see any. Uh, what happened to them? Doesn't matter. We get two Iglas in there. And we'll get two Iglas in here. Hopefully we won't forget about them. And also a concourse armored anti-tank and the logistics grusel boy in this parking lot. Hopefully you won't get hit by anything. Let's get a laser guided bomb or an anti-air guided bomb just in case. We have two of them now. And then we get cluster bombs and uh, anti-air. Alright, let's get these boys back up. Uh, the artillery is here. Let's uh, start using it because we could have used it before and I don't think it's uh, very smart to not use it. Uh, right. Let's fire this position and fire that position. These guys will go there, and they will fire at stuff. Alright, and as they're loading, we have another. Hello. And this guy will be counter-battering. I haven't seen any anything to counter yet, but... It's good to be prepared. To be medium two retreated, it seems. What if I put it here? Alright, let's see if this supply helicopter makes it. Let's see if it may. There we go. Alright, is that a supply car? Supply car. Let's see if it's... these guys make it. It's a pretty good area to shoot. But it's also an area where they could get wrecked by a tank. 
All right, what do we have here? Cycle the units, bring the Metis back to safety, and bring this Metis and this house. Again, it's power. Gain the power. Bring the tech helicopter. Unload the recon. Recon gets here and looks at stuff. Oh, let's continue to fire. Yeah, the Grenadier Division is got, just got wrecked. Good. Uh, we will fire artillery in this tree line. And we will bring more artillery to the battlefield in the form of BM 21 V Grad V. Let's look at the artillery firing. Very nice. And that was um, some nice skills there. Okay, keep the artillery flowing. We're using the Russian tactics. Beautiful, very nice. Uh, let's get some uh, BMDs in here, maybe. Capture more stuff there, probably. What's happening here? Oh, all the supply cars were destroyed by RPGs. Uh, this is not good. Okay, the Iglas. The Iglas are firing and they successfully destroyed attack helicopter over there we have unfortunately lost our supply stuff so let's try and get it in a place where it won't be destroyed fighting is very violent in this uh, center front line But we managed to keep with the pressure. That's good. Let's get another anti tank in this parking lot. What's going on in here? The, med the BMD has arrived. Let's put in this vehicle. I mean, not in this vehicle, in this professional. Opa. Oh. It saw my supply. I thought it was in cover, but it wasn't. That's okay. Uh, get some recon in the tall building. Right? Okay, that, that guy's armed with a dragon anti anti tank missile. Pretty good missile, as we've just seen. They took our supply truck down. And let's get this. No, it's dangerous. Well, let's let the RPG take care of it. The RPG, well, not with the RPG, but with the sniper rifle, the right light support weapon, the assault rifle, AKS 74. And we got five of them in our squad. And they are all working, so. It's all good. Don't even need to cycle our stuff yet. We could put a sniper rifle in that building. The Igla is currently missing the target. Get this Igla in this building as well. We could just put a armored concourse in this parking lot, I guess. Could try. And then or right, let's continue the artillery artillerizing. Continue with the artillerizing. Get them to retreat from that position. You're not allowed. Alright, tank is approaching an Abrams. But uh, our attack helicopter is firing. Also our concourse anti-tank missile is doing the job. Uh, we got the Metis, we got the RPG 
guys firing at the grenadier units. Doesn't have a chance. There's one guy trying to escape. Well, it wasn't his day at the office. So, we will unload these guys there. The attack helicopter doesn't have any more missiles. We fire them all. We'll get our helicopters out of there. Alright. You guys are doing fine here. Let's get a... We got a supply car between these buildings. I see. What is this? Ah, it's just uh, going here. So our anti-tank will fire at that vehicle. Let's see if it gets hit. Direct hit. Beautiful hit. If I do say so myself. Okay, this area is doing okay. I could put something in this building. Um, right, let's get some spetsnaz. Some spetsnaz in this building. Got a a lot of igla. Got supply. Try to put the supply in this building. I wonder if it works. Oh, we got enemy anti air going down the street. But we don't have anything to kill it with. Unless I had a concourse installed here. There's no reason for that right now. Let's get this BRDM2 out of the way. Uh. So we'll have to remember that there's an entire system there. It's going away. Let's uh, artillerize a little bit. Since it's all so calm. We're gonna artillerize that building. And we get another artillery piece and uh, put it right next. Not, not right next to it. That would be a terrible idea. Let's move. The supply helicopter away and uh what's going on here so uh, continue to fire fire on that position and fire at this position and uh these guys they get supplied no, they didn't because I didn't land the big the thing. Oh, uh, fire position. Fire here. Oh, uh, maybe I should go away with these guys. I will use artillery though. Maybe they get scared and leave. <coughs> Terrible. Uh, Alright, the artillery. Is affecting the Abrams. Is affecting the their infantry. They are retreating from our artillery, and the BMPs are firing too. And that from that way, hitting this Abrams in the side armor there. Uh, and we got a Milan two firing. Unfortunately, this guy has no supply. I need to get him out of there and. I need to get another supply truck over here. Um, let's continue with the artillery. Fire at that region there. And uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, they killed our BMPs. Um, yeah, well, I do have a, I do have a, an attack helicopter. And, uh, I can use it, you know. 
I can bring it over here. Artillery is working pretty good. Oh, there is a there is a stinger there, but the stinger has been destroyed. So we can put our attack helicopter back in action. Oh no, have to land immediately. Um, yeah, that's uh, not good. We have to repair our helicopter immediately. And we have to keep on firing on those positions, but I'm out of ammo with that guy. So we need to fire to whatever we have available, like this Grad V. Beautiful hits. I'm gonna get some armored concours and put them right here so they can fire the artillery just putting pressure on the enemy that's always good always good and we need to supply these guys because they're dying let's uh get them out of here And uh, get some more Metis guys in here. And we get another armored concourse anti tank since there's a lot of tank activity in here. Um, my attack, my helicopter keeps firing. Oh, which is good. Let's see what we can fire in that direction. Right there, attack helicopter. Oh my, my, me, I gotta get up. Oh no, it's gone. Okay, well, I lost our attack helicopter. But it couldn't repair it in time because this uh, supply car is so slow to arrive. It's okay though. Let's play these guys. Well, at least we still have this uh, anti air helicopter. It's pretty good. Uh, let's get some uh, cluster bomb units just in case. What do we have here? They are surviving, that's great. So uh, great news. Let's put some eyes in the sky. I mean in the sky. Not in the sky, but in this tall building. Uh, we see everything now. Do they have anti-air? They don't have much anti-air. Let's see how this concourse fires from the parking lot. Well, bad. <laughs> I'll never do that again. And, uh, yeah, this tank is firing at this RPG guys, they can't do anything, so we're just gonna pull them all up, pull them out, pull them out and move them in this bit, in this other building. The... Well, victory. We would have seen this guy shoot some more RPGs at that tank. Oh my god, I got a kill ratio of 7 to 1. That's uh, more than I could have hoped, hoped for. Uh, so still, I'm a bit uh, sad because I lost the attack helicopter, but it's okay. It's just a video game. We only lost some pixels and not real men. Um, I have played against the 11th Armed Cavalry Regiment, even though there's no cavalry still carries the tradition of an old brigade the 35th he didn't so they didn't stand a chance against the 35th desanto Sturmova brigade assault air assault brigade very good 
uh, they managed to get a total victory. So I hope this helps you to understand how to fight against the AI in this game. Uh, let's look at our hero. So I got an RPG-7 crew, which managed to kill a lot of stuff, tanks, helicopters, infantry units, everything. A unit can fight very well if you cycle it, if you supply it, and if you position it in the right place. I guess they are the heroes of the day. We have the concourse anti-tank mounted on a car, on a was, which managed to kill three Bradleys and a tank with an anti-tank missile mounted on it, an anti-air system. Uh, an Abrams tank, everything, just killed everything, this guy killed, all these are tanks except for the entire system, just from a car with an anti-tank missile, that's, that's crazy, well it's also due to the fact that the AI just throws stuff, he, the AI throws stuff out in the open, and that, it's not that good, why would you do that? This Metis unit managed to kill a bunch of stuff, that's pretty good. And this uh, attack helicopter, I guess this is the true hero of the day. Look how much stuff this guy killed. It's such a shame I lost him due to waiting for repairs. <laughs> it's uh, kind of lame, actually. BRDM-2, just an infantry fighting ve vehicle, managed to kill a bunch of infantry and uh, two guys carrying uh, anti-tank missile by the name of Milan. Iglas got some stuff, RPG-7, and that's about it. And the enemy didn't manage to kill much at all. This Abrams got some kills. This helicopter got some kills of supply trucks and an anti-tank car. And uh, who killed my, <laughs> my beautiful helicopter? My KA-50 Aquila. Oh was killed by this guy. It's uh, very important that in the case of planes, which we didn't use at all, uh, to give you an example, but there's no examples to give, but basically, I don't know if I explained when I was making the bell group, but you have to look at the ending uh, of the title of a name when you're in the game. When you're in the battle, if you're unsure whether a plane is a jet fighter or a or a cluster bomb launcher or a or a laser guided bomb launcher, you can just look at the end. It will tell you. So if it has cluster bomb, it will say here C L U at the end of the plane, and it will say uh, L G B for the for the laser guided bomb. No, it's not LGBT, it's uh, LGB, a laser guided bomb. And it will say AA if it's an anti-air, so that would be a jet fighter. So that's it, you, you look at this uh, at these units, you play the game, and you'll get used to these units, and you'll know exactly how and when to use them. And there's still room for mistakes, there will still be mixed mistakes. I have my mistakes, and I learn from them each time, getting more and more efficient. So that's the game. Uh, as I get better in the game, I will show you next time how to uh, beat the hard AI with this brigade. Uh, and then we switch to other type of brigades. And we will perhaps uh, go to the real battles, which are in multiplayer. Although those players can be a bit spammy there. And I don't like spam, but we'll see if it's fun or not but for me this warno game is really fun and that's why i want to share it with you show you how i play the game and how i try to be efficient in it and maybe you will learn from my experience if you are already great at this game you can uh, teach me some stuff in the comments uh, thank you for watching the video if you if you like this video uh, don't forget to like it or uh, comment on it, it helps very much with the algorithms. You can subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and uh, you can even support the channel 
by buying my music donations whatever it's all in the description you can also join my discord if you want to hang out and talk about different topics like i said i don't do just gaming i also uh, talk about conspiracies and well i also make music there's all kinds of stuff we can interact about so this was my video hope you learned how to beat the medium ai and warno for the 35th aerosol brigade this was to vlad Signing out.